What is going on everybody, man? I prepared for this day, guys, man. I prepared for it. I got the nice haircut, man. I put on the goatish shirt in all of goatness. Shogun assassination greatness, guys. We're in there. Lesson 629! And lesson 630, at the very least. A live reaction of that goat Tama awesome sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, man, I've missed it. When I tell you that I've missed these characters, I've, I've I've missed everything that has to do with the series, the comedy, the awesome moments, the emotional moments, the way that this series makes me mad like no other, but I still love it, man. That's that's what I miss about it, man. Goat Tama greatness, we're here, and hopefully I never have to leave it ever again, man. Because it sucked not being able to read it every single week, but then when chapters keep piling up and I'm like damn it when do I make time to read this so I've decided that because the reason why I, ha why I didn't do it in the past week is because I, I couldn't find enough uh, time in order for me to do all what is it five or six chapters that are right now so then I decided you know what let me just do them as, as I can so right now we're gonna try to do a double to 629 and 630 and then we'll see what happens because I have to get to work soon so let's see what happens here so let's start off man what is the Yato's goal Gen guy was it oh yeah the Gen guy the, yo this cliffhanger oh let me go let me go we are aware that it was mostly your doing that allowed the earthlings to repel the liberation army even if, even if we even if you search the entire galaxy I don't think you could find another that could sink a fleet of that one of that scale in one day I guarantee you can't man I guarantee you can you want to know why because there's a man out there that has a schlong that reaches from here all the way to another planet and that man's name is Yumi Bozu. and that man could sink a fleet of that skill in one day. Try him. Try him. He'll do it. Try him. My boy takes dubs in his prime. Get out of here, man. You was just one shotting him, and he's, he, he'll slap him around. He'll erase him from existence. And then if you want to go even a step further, you bring Sirachi himself into the picture. Sirachi will troll himself, and then he, he'll 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 make them just die he just automatically he'll erase them he'll bring out the people's pencil and he'll start erasing to doom to doom to doom if, if you want to go that far man and who wants to give it a, a, a step further beyond that if you bring condo into the situation oh no it's over it's over you bring condo in the situation everybody's getting one shot and immediately immediately don't even get don't even get me started on takatsugi hotsuke don't even get me started do not even get me started. Let's get let's continue. So taking that into consideration, I'd say you're also the only one that can put this back to normal. So you captured the old man that doesn't even have paper to wipe his own ass. So he can wipe his ass for you. You, you guys, you look at these panels, man. Yo, th this this was an intense battle against these guys. It really has been. You guys decided that instead of helping your comrades while they were getting beaten, you just watched from above as as it all went down. So why start getting involved now? Your whole side was totally disconnected without me having to do anything. A frit flipping advertisement, man. Watch, you're, you're about to hear it soon. Well, please. Oh, no, no, it's, it's one of the quiet advertisements. You know the loud advertisements, man? There's... There, uh, you you have won! Congratulations! I, I, those advertisements pissed me off, man. We have no intentions of fighting alongside idiots that underrates their enemies and act on their own while we have no means of contacting our headquarters. Unless you amputate their rotting limbs before long, the poison will spread to the whole body. We know better than to underestimate you. Look at Jose Yoshiwara in flames! You know why they call that arc Yoshiwara in flames? It's because the arc is so incredible, that's the only thing that you can put next to it. It's Yoshiwara in, and then it's a five-star fire emoji. You know, five fire emojis back to back. Because it's F-L-A-M-E-S. It's a six-star, actually. It's a six-star arc. It goes beyond the rating of five-star. That's how amazing Yoshiwara is. Yoshiwara in six emojis. That's what they call it, Yoshiwara in flames. Uh, and that's a secret scoop you're only going to get from King Recon's channel, I'll tell you that, man. I talk to Sirachi every day. I had breakfast with him this morning. And he told me that that, that, that it was Yoshiwara in six six flame emojis. Uh, that's the way it works. Now after this planet sunk the Great Knight King, we will defeat you after we've regrouped the army. 
Can guys stop that nano machine virus? If 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 Solid Snake couldn't do it, well, he did, technically he did, but then and then you're damn sure not doing it. Look at Jerocho, dude, my boy. Emergency old man Gengai's been Hiji Kata, dude. I missed her. She's a gooby, man. Gengai's falling into the end. <laughs> See Hedero over here, man. Su Suki's flipping. I mean, they're all mocked out, man. They're dr Gen Gen's down here too. Suki is freaking killing him. He's he's suffocating over here. But no, man. The one who's worse is Kondo, dude. Con Otai is out here throwing darts. And the, the saddest part is that the thing is on his stomach. At least it's not on his on his meat. You know, because that would be a sad day, especially for Kondo, when they probably lost it a long time ago because knowing Gintama. It's, probably, it's, it's still a screwdriver, <laughs> knowing Gintama. But anyway, look at this, man. They're, they're trying, my boy. They got all darts all around them, man. Hey, but, but if that's Otai's way of flirting with Kondo, I'll take it. I will take it, man. I'll take it any day of the week. Look at Suki. <laughs> oh, you say something? You, you, no, nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> he just closes the flipping door. As Silent Edo Castle listen, 629 logic is essential to solving mysteries. Uh, I'm, uh, listen, man, I, I read around 90, what, oh, what was it, 97 chapters of Detective Conan. And, and, and you know, it's not just logic, man. Well, it says logic is essential. I, I suppose so, I suppose so. You need luck, man. You need logic. You, you, need, you need a couple L's without the actual L, all right? Logic is definitely essential, man. I'll, I'll give him that. But be, before writing this chapter, my boy was uh, freaking Sirachi was probably reading some Conan or something. Well, knowing Japan, and Conan, isn't Conan like the, like right under, actually, some some weeks, isn't it usually like One Piece, Detective Conan, uh, Doraemon, uh, the the Saze Chan or something like that is is the first is is always like the top rated anime uh, whatever whatever that's besides the point anyway Detective Conan airs on Japanese TV if that wasn't well known you know now good work out there next next week we'll be monitoring the enemy's movements and making preparations based on them this night just don't feel right man my boy hold on let me let me, let me put the um TV the TV volume down it got so quiet it feels unnatural. Even the guys that were in a chaotic fervor should have cooled their heads by now. Maybe it ain't they can't make a move, it's that they're choosing not to. I'll bet they're holding their breaths, sitting stock, waiting for something to come. Bonus stages ain't things that go on for too long. That's factual, man. Usually bonus stages have a time limit to them and a friggin' hard boss. Not that I wouldn't like to rest, to take a rest while I can. Oh man, yo, Soyo and Nobume. Can't sleep either, noble my son. Not only did I get injured, but m making me nothing but a burden. But I can't even manage to rest. So the least I can do is watch over you, is watch over you, so you can rest easy, Hime Sama. Sorry for giving you such trouble. Honestly, I'll be fine. You're the one who should be resting, noble my son. Once Hime Sama goes to sleep, I will also. <laughs> <laughs> and she just sleeps on him. <sighs> you know she's out, man. Like completely out in the middle of talking. On some will of D stuff. Um, you're already sleeping, no baby son. I'm sorry, you were probably exhausted and I woke you up. <laughs> the other Z has already left bodyguards to watch over me. It's like a man. My bed had a vigilant guard, so please go rest, no baby son. Oh, really? I'll just be going straight back to bed. <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> and she's freaking sleeping on Sadaharu. Hey, that has to be comfortable, man. That has to be comfortable. That's a king size bed right there. I'm sorry, I don't really know how to play the straight man. <laughs> hey man, that, that's, that's freaking, that, that job belongs to Eiji Kata and Shinbachi, man. I apologize, Soyo. Uh, but that really does look comfy. Maybe now I'll be able to get some sleep. No, think about it. Something like this happened before. I was being selfish, saying I was lonely and couldn't sleep. And I had everyone sleep together with me. Back then, I never thought there'd be a night like this. I never thought there'd be such a truly lonely night. Hime-sama. The ones that made you and your brother meet, meet with such misfortune was us, the Hitotsubashi faction. If we hadn't made the choices we did, then Shige Shige Sama wouldn't have. I honestly have no right to be sitting next to you. I think tonight might be the first time I'll sleep soundly in quite a while. 
the same as back then. You were by my side the whole time, acting as my personal security. I don't know, I don't understand anything that happened, but I, for, I know you forgot about your position and protected me and my brother many times. I think it's all okay then, don't you, Nobomi-san? You know my pain, just like I know you. you. That's enough of a reason for you and me to spend this night together, isn't it? Nobomi-san, let's make it through this night together. <laughs> These guys are trolls, man. It's classic Gintama. They had my emotions swelling, bro. I was like, yo, I mean, I, I didn't realize it at first, but yeah, Soyo should despise them. These are the these guys. Are the, 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 her faction is the reason why her brother's dead. But Soyo, it, it, you know, it's been a long time since then, man. And Soyo has come to the realization that, you know what? It's just something that 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 happened, man. But I can't hold a grudge forever. And plus. You know my pain as well. Because, you know, whenever whenever she lost Isaburo, yo, that was bees. That was an amazing line. Oh, let me go back. Let me go back. Right here, right here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here. You know my pain just like I know yours. <laughs> That's an amazing line, but... Wow. I didn't, I didn't expect that. I, I, it just it didn't click in my, in my mind. <laughs> Freaking trolls. He made some... I don't really know how to play a straight man either. Mm. What happened? The radio? The broken radio, the security people left. Please respond. A signal right now. Not only all signals, but all machines in Edo should not be working. And that voice. Is anyone there? Please. Yes, I got through. Who is this? This is Shiga Shiga's little sister. So yo. Look at yo. Dude, Knob Knob, man. Yo, he's changed so much. Saka Goto, Mutsu. Nobunomu sama. It's you, isn't it? No way. They're about to speak to each other. Yo, this is gonna be the ultimate character moment for both for both characters. For both characters. Is this we did it, we, we restored contact with Earth. It was just as we'd analyzed, so the enemies nano machines really didn't destroy all the machines. They had the central system, so by constructing the system to a different location, you tech guys really pulled through. Great job coming up with countermeasures in such a short time frame. What are you so happy about, you simpletons? We haven't resolved the thing yet. We can't. We, we still can't approach the planet. All that's changed now is we can listen to those guys left behind complain. Confirm the status of the battle on Earth immediately, then work out what measures to take next. Earthlings. What, communications are back up? You, yo, here they come, man. The shit's in the You think it could have been because the enemy kidnapped Gengai? If it's not just communications, then the enemy's weapons go back into operation. Our chances of victory are going to bottom out. Hurry, we've got to find Gengai and take him back from the enemy. Is Gen riding on he? Uh, no, no, I thought that was Heiji. I just looked down and saw Shin Faji. Calm down, guys. That old man ain't the sort of soft old man that just do what the enemy says. I'm sure he died keeping his mouth shut. <laughs> what a freaking Gen, man. Hey, you can't blame him. Su Suki was freaking pummeling a bottle of liquor right down his throat. A man couldn't sleep. The man couldn't sleep. Don't say he died. Seriously, it's all good. I don't know how he looks, but he's a damn good communicator. So if he's contacting us from space or from hell, I'm sure he'll get through to us. That's true. That's a good point. And they've done it before in the series. So you're still saying he's dead. Anyhow, we, what we gotta do first is get some hepis, he, 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 heparize. Get a barf bag and on standby and go to sleep. Could you not sway so much? I don't feel so. And this man is already vomiting, man. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Drink a telly probe when you're in a war zone? Hey, it's not, it's not him, man. It was Suki. Yo, Kagura is out. Kagura is gone. I gotta save this panel. It's a Kagura panel. You know I gotta save it, man. Kagura's out. Your nose bubble for days. Oh, it's it's out. I'm I'm with you. Think of it as being as being at the last save point before the final boss. Perfect analogy. Perfect analogy. It's so true. When you're at the last save point, that, that's why every time, every time, no matter what game it is, man, you know, just, um, I haven't even got to the last boss in Persona 5 yet, but think about it like in the Persona 5 whenever you're going to a castle, right? And you, the, the very, the very fast, the very last thing that you do whenever you, you know you're about to go into a boss battle, you always save. You always save beforehand because you never know, even though Persona, thank God, unless you restart the battle. But like in another series, like in Final Fantasy, you always want to save because you, I knew I was going to go in full HP, SP, your magic all the way high, whatever whatever game it is. You just want everything to be at your highest. And you even put on some buffs. Stat buffs for days. You put on everything, man. You make sure you have potions, revives for days. No matter what game it is. 
You always want to have all those. This is factual. That was the greatest analogy I think I've ever heard for, for this kind of scenario. It really is. And it kind of hurts me because this is this is supposed to be the last battle. And they keep freaking saying it's going to be the last battle. It's making me think it's not because it's Gintama. It's like when they say it's the final, it's not. It's never the final. But we know it is the final, man. But now we're waking up and falling right into a poison box. Not only is our HP not full, the screen's gone solid green. <laughs> there are no safe points in real life. In real life, every step forward you take, you get hurt, and the area that makes you take damage just keeps getting bigger. That's, that's very, very factual. Do we even know for sure if the old man got taken by the enemy? Apparently, he was shooting outside and didn't have any papers, so he couldn't move him. That's really <laughs> Hey, it's factual. We really are better off if that old man's dead. We found a tar, a tar turd at the end of the scene with a weird cut to it, but no signs of wiping, which means he he, he got brought off somewhere with poops. <laughs> I think he just described the most too curious mystery of all time. I trying to smear Graham's good name. Should not embarrass him? Even if that even if that's true, wouldn't Gengai have left of some kind of clue? Clue? Huh? Looks like we've stumbled upon some good luck. Okuda san, I don't think that's the luck you found there. Take a good look. That there, there's a trail of turds. Genius, skin guy. Genius. So what he did was, was he continued to take the yo. He continued to take the dump as it went on, so that way the trail, whenever they actually find him, that is genius. By the heavens, yo, that's genius, skin guy. Not only genius on him, but genius on Sirachi, because I never would have thought of that. There's a trail of turds, and then they'll get to where he is. There are the, the, the clues Gengai's left us. We didn't have anything on him. So when the enemy was hauling him away, he left those behind as landmarks to point as to where he is. Yo, that's genius. This is the most after version Hansel and Gretel I've ever heard of. That's factual. We, that's the way Sirachi is. If we follow these, they should lead us to where Gengai is. Open my nose. I randomly got mucus in it, somewhere in there. It's because of that damn soyo and Nobu may scene, man. It got me a little emotional. Hey, so are you trying to smear Gramps' name? You really want to associate him with that? It's probably just poop from a straight dog or something. It wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary in that case, though. Say, can one human even push out this much? <laughs> Don't underestimate us, man. Do not, in the words of Netero in Hunter x Hunter, do not underestimate humans' potential, or humanity's potential for, what is it? Humanity's infinite potential for evolution or something like that. Don't, no, don't ever do it, man. And that was, that was a legendary statement. The same thing could be said for taking a dump. You may not be the mo in the most healthy condition. We better hurry. What is Kondo doing? <laughs> what is this man doing? I hadn't seen her in so long, I think I may have drank too much. I really meant to space it out for a bit, but I knew that no matter how dark a forest I was in, I could uh, could count on you guys to realize something is amiss. You bought me a new one. <laughs> this dude's a troll. <laughs> I love you, Kondo, man. No, no, it's a wild gorilla. Yeah, I just look, and they, they left him out there. They left him out there. We didn't see any humans, and I in that alley. Got that, everybody? I'm okay, but are you really okay with calling your leader a wild gorilla? They always have, man. I thought it was weird. And weird how we sprinted ahead of us, so he shook us off. So you could watch his undies, huh? Forget it. <laughs> Believe me, I'd like to I feel like... <laughs> but what do we do now? We're out of leads again. Hey, hold on a second. Look over there. Bloodstains? No, not hemorrhoids, man. Anything but hemorrhoids. Maybe this is the clue the guy left behind. I think the guy's son is, I don't know, but sure as hope we haven't got any time to lose. He just got the trying to smear Gop Chang's name. Remember the only one smearing Korean food? Let me smear Gramps too. Look, the puddles of blood are getting bigger and bigger. Gotta hurry. Oh, it's freaking Zen's. I knew it. I knew, I knew it was hemorrhoids, man. You know hemorrhoids when you see them. I knew it, man. Dude, I feel sorry for Zen's. So look at all that blood. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why, Zenzo? I drank too much and my hemorrhoids really flared up, but I knew I, I could count on you guys to realize something was amiss. I can't move, please. Put this in my pot. <laughs> Zenzo! It's gonna be a stupid drinking party that everybody's totally wiped out. It's basically the lower halves of their bodies. Don't try to fool us by playing the straight man. We solved the, the mystery, so hurry and drop out your, <laughs> drop out your cup tank. Then make him drop out his ramps, too! Excuse me, he got the sound, but my grandpa died a long time ago. Would you mind dying soon, too? <laughs> what sort of logic is that? You guys totally unqualified to be talking about deducing memories. Mysteries, I meant. Well, now our only plan of action is to use signals to scour the area. Over here, yes. Cargo woke up. Something ring a bell? It is just intuition, but we, we can we can try relying on that for a bit, yes? Aru, 
It is on nights like tonight that the night rabbits become hunters. That become hunters. I gotta save this battle. Dude, it is on nights like tonight that the night. You come we come we. Come we. Yo, are we about to see my boy? Are we about to, then, oh no no, either him, you be Bozu. Last first son, I'd gather the most notable warriors of the Dakini and Shimmer tribes, but it seems all in the end all that survived was was Yu Yato then. And who is that man? He seems to, 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 he, he seems to have his ears and nose. As long as his head and, and, uh, and arms are still left, I would think the rest doesn't matter. You can t tell just by looking at his face whether or not he's sort. He's he, uh, my my brain is rattled. You know, I, you know that was an amazing battle. You can tell just by looking at his face whether or not he's the sort that tor torture will work or not. Or no, no, yes. He's, yo, you're so you're the head of the Liberation Army, huh? I finally get a chance to speak to you. Yes, you're the one that came out of nowhere to stop our battleships, weapons, and even our radio signals, yes. As you can see, your signals are back to top form. I just really wanted a chance to see the face of the guy that started this, so I went a little lax when I set some things up. But those nanomachine bees ain't gonna stop. Afraid I can't let you get close to Earth, if you really want to know why. That's because even I don't know how to stop them. Indeed, that is what I thought. But that goes for us as well, Earthling. We cannot stop either. We, the Altana Liberation Army, we have assembled in order to liberate planets from the Tendoshu. But if a planet were to reject our holy war and try to fight with us, then we would give it exactly what it wants. Earth. May you be turned to space dust along with the worms living on you. Holy f Next thing, I got the next page, next page. Yo, I, I, I could have sworn. I could have sworn Kamui's about to show up, bro. I could have sworn either Kamui, you mean Bozu, uh, someone. Someone, man. Ayato. The way that she said that, man, it's in the night. That, yee, that, that night rabbits become hunters. That was sick. All right, I think I have enough time to read this one. Transmissions to and from outer space have been restored. Hello? This is Shige Shige's little sister, Soyo. Nobuno Musama. It's you, isn't it? Oh, man, dude, I've been waiting for this, man. This is about to be an amazing freaking character moment for both of them, man, for both of them. What's wrong, Shogun-sama? Were you not able to get in contact with your retainers on Earth? Hello, I just took over for, for the Shogun. I'm Sako Sakagoto Tatsuma, the Kentai. For certain unavoidable circumstances, I'm accompanying the Shogun. But not, no need to be alarmed. The Shogun's safe with us. Through, though negotiations with the Liberation Army did go sour and we got in prison for a bit. But we've got the Admiral Shijaku faction of the Liberation Army headquarters on our side. And we just got out of the cells. My apologies, I never intended to make you all the accessories to my betrayal. No, it was because of you that we joined the Liberation Army in the first place, Admiral. What the Liberation Army has, has become is just... Did anything happen while I was imprisoned? Admiral Prince Ensho has just utterly... We'll be, we'll be working with Admiral Shijaku from here. And also, we'll be working with the Admiral's homeland. How's it going? And look at Elizabeth! Holy a blade! Is that who I think it is, man? Is that hot to the legend? The legend? The man who has the schlong? Prince Dragonia of Planet Okoku! And Prince Ba! Prince <laughs> his personnel. These guys are trolls. We're going to take control of the Liberation Army Headquarters. Mothership, the Aminatory Ship. Even after gaining all these allies, I don't see us overturning our, numer our numerical disadvantage. Moods with Sakakoto. But if we can make use of the situation going on in the mothership, we might be able to pull it off. But when it comes down to it, desperate measures like that are the only thing that will end the war at this point. So please tell the people fighting on Earth right now. I apologize if the camera falls, man. Just, when I'm reading, man. So please tell the people fighting on Earth right now to hold, just, to just hold on. To hold out a little longer. And that we swear... We'll make it back to Earth to see him. That all okay, Shogun-sama? Is that true? I don't know what happened. I'm sorry, my Earthling friends. It's too late. Too late for anything. It's already been shifted to destruction. And the one who turned the rudder is you humans. The weapon of destruction, Hinokagu Tsuchi. And the, the Aminatori ship is not merely the Liberation Army's mothership. It is the pedestal of the giant weapon made by gathering the best techniques from all across the universe. But in pursuit of our holy war, we, Im we improvised it and restored it. It possesses the powers to destroy a planet in one attack. I, I had it long sealed because it was feared as a weapon whose might was simply taboo. 
We needed a great deal of energy and time in order to use it, but we have long since gathered all we needed. Hinokagu Tsuchi is now ready to fire. He sounds like a freaking Bonkai in Bleach. In other words, in just six more hours, this blue planet will disappear from the universe. So that means they ha they have six hours up there. They have six hours in order to take care of the situation, man. Before night ends on your planet, it will disappear into the eternal night of space. So basically you're saying if you can't get close to the Earth, you're going to finish the job from out in outer space? That ain't all that can Excuse me, they're not all that convincing as far as threats go. If you personally reduce this war that's had so many sacrifices to nothing, then the comrades you got here on the planet fighting for the same noble cause are going to go with it. This is the reason I'm doing it. So the sacrifices made by those fighting for the same great cause are not in vain. We cannot lose this holy war. Our comrades on Earth will gladly be become a stepping stone as a means to that victory. Yo, they're turning on him. Prince, what in the world are we fighting for? To, what in the world are we fighting for? To liberate people on planets from the Tendoshu? But the ones we're fighting now are those people, isn't it? Not only that, but if we destroy our, if we destroy our commerce along with the planet, then aren't we the same as, as the Tendoshu? Prince, please stop this. This war is not some holy war. Precisely. This is no great moral cause. There is no great moral cause in this war, no. Things like moral causes are, are mere sophistries. They're created for those so weak they cannot fight without reason. I knew from the beginning that even if we defeated the, the, the Tendoshu, we would not get back what we lost. Even if we free planets, free people, the things we lost will not come back. So why do we fight? Because fighting is all we have left. What a panel. And they got wrecked. In an instant. Bruh. He freaking, he, 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 just like that, and they are wrecked. His hatred, the sadness, now that we have lost any means of ridding ourselves of them, all we can do is throw them in hellfire of battle, where they'll be burned on and on, until all the hatred and sadness burn out and become ash. Our only choice is to keep fighting. As you can see, we are already prepared to keep fighting, even if it means stepping over the corpses of our comrades. You can disappear along with the planet before dawn breaks. Or you can stop those nanomachines you've scattered all, all about before then. And meet us directly and be destroyed. Either way, your only path is that of destruct- Prince! You suck a go to yo, they're on the move, they're on the move! Please come in! Sakamoto-san, so you. What do you mean the Earth will soon be erased? What is this destructive weapon, Sakamoto-san? No need to worry. All that's happened is a planet that could have been destroyed at any time. Now it's got a clear fixed time when it'll be destroyed. Yo, Sakamoto, say it like nothing! <laughs> Looks like they're already onto us. Uh, it seems that all that's left on the ship and Liberation Army are tools of Encho. There's no time and our chances aren't looking s so what? Whether we've got a good chance or not. Saka, good. Look at this Saka Bono battle. I gotta save it. It doesn't change what we gotta do. That's factual. Highly factual. Yo, it is going in. Come on, man. Nothing's changed. Mutsu's going in, man. They say that Bushido is something you find in death after all. I gotta say this battle, dude, that was a sick line. They say that Bushido you know, is something you find in death after all. Reinforcements have arrived from the home country. Could have them stationed on the border of the Liberation Army radar net. Draw the, the, the freaking Elizabeth and Zura. Draw the enemy's battleship's attention to, to tear as many as you can away from the mothership. Look at freaking Liz's face now, man. We will exploit that opening and use a stealth ship to launch a surprise attack on the enemy mothership, says Prince Dragonia. You look at Hasegawa, man. Even at the last moment, how did I end up in this mess? Comes one second from now. We're going to leave. We're going to keep living our lives to the fullest, so we have no regrets. That is the thing we call a samurai. Come on, next page, next page, next page, next page. Now that now that second has stretched until dawn, and no matter what there is to lament over, be joyous, samurai, because we can still fight. We can keep fighting until there is not a single shred of regret remaining. And this man, Ken, is still throwing up, man. Never drink again. Moto-san, Sakamoto-san, do not worry. Edo, this country, I swear will protect it. That's something your older brother would say, wouldn't it? You're dead, right? Shige, Shige, the spirit of Shige, Shige still lives. A real shogun would say that, wouldn't he? This is Nobu Nobu saying this. Yo, I have chills. I have chills. Unfortunately, I do not have the qualifications nor the caliber to say it. But as someone who used many lives as stepping stones in order to stand here at the top, I at least have the qualifications to be a stepping stone for this country. 
No, dude, I legit, my hairs are standing. For those that perish unable to protect those they sought to protect, I at least have the qualification to perish for those they left behind. I'm sorry. I won't forgive you unless you come back. <laughs> you! Oh, dude, I have a tear, bro. I won't forgive you. Please come back to Earth and report to my elder brother in front of his grave with me. Report to him that we protected Edo, because if you don't, I'll never forgive you. Bro. Holy sweet mother of Flagnarts. That was even better than I could have ever imagined, man. Oh, man. Unless you come back alive. Do you know who you're speaking to? Oh, man, bro. That's a top five level chapter in this arc, man. Maybe even top three. That was beautiful. That was godlike, yo. I had... I, Wow. Oh my god, dude. Wow. I gotta get going, man. Yo, this was amazing, man. I miss this, dude. Wow. That was incredible. That entire last couple of pages was freaking phenomenal. I can't wait to see that animated, man. Because that's that's freaking Soyo and no Nobu. And the way she's ready, please come back to her and report to my elder brother in front of his grave with me. That's going to be a beautiful scene. Report to him that we protected Edo. Sirachi's goat, man. Sirachi's goat. I'll be. I'll, when I get off work tonight, yo. When I get off work tonight.